and welcome to week seven of our teen summer virtual activity challenge craft video. So this is the last week of our challenge, week seven. This is going to be the last craft for summer and I know you're going to enjoy it. Um, I could tell you that you could still sign up for the summer reading challenge. Technically you can because you have a week left, but I'm not sure if you'll actually win anything. Who knows? The universe is mysterious. As am I. So, we are going to do, let's see, our craft for this week, week seven, is our safety pin bracelet. Oh my gosh, safety pins, beads, string, done. That's all you need. So, here's your bag. It's one of the small ones. Um, show up on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday from 12 to 2. And give us a call when you show up, 760-839-5456. And we will bring down, sorry, you're a little itchy, a craft kit for you. Uh, the teen ones, we usually do 30-ish. Depends on how much I have of everything. But um, usually Monday, Wednesday, they're gone. So give us a call. <laughs> Come by Monday or Wednesday. Monday's the safest bet, <laughs> but we will see. So here's your bag. There's only a couple things in your bag because there's only things you really need. You've got 80 safety pins because that's the number you get. <laughs> and then you get this little container of beads. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I can't help. can't help myself. And then you get two pieces of like elastic string stuff. Ooh, and there should be some instructions in here too. Um, I just haven't typed them up yet. Oh, it's empty. For these purposes, I don't need to use the string or the safety pins because I've already got something sort of quasi put together. And then the cool part, put this over here. The cool part about your beads, I can see you, um, about your beads is you have like four different kinds of beads in this box. You have like bigger beads, it's hard to see that. And then you've got like eh, these like slightly smaller beads. And then you've got like the smallest. Ah, oh no, I've lost it on the table. And I'm never gonna find it. It's gotta be here somewhere, right? <laughs> it's so small, I can't see it. Anyway, but you have an, the even smaller beads. But yeah, I mean, you can't even see it. I mean, look at that, it's so teeny. I can't even see you through it, it's so teeny. So three different sizes of beads, and then you have a couple of um, these cool like silver little spacer beads, if you wanna use these. You have like eight of these, cause I didn't buy tons of them, but they're just a nice little touch. So you can use all three sizes, technically four sizes of beads to make, make your bracelet, okay? So I'm not gonna use this little container, although it's super fun. I'm just gonna use that. Okay, so now we can move down to the table. Okay, so we've got a little thing of beads here and then we have got some safety pins. And I'm just gonna show you the basic idea. We have four, right? So you've got all your beads. I recommend, like the little container that I gave you is a nice thing to hold them in. But if you have something a little larger like this or something that's larger that's flat, so that you can see everything. Sometimes that's a little easier to do. So basically take your safety pin, open it up and there you go. If your hands are a little too big or it's too hard for you to pick up the beads, that's the great thing. You can use the pointy part and just kind of pick it up, like stick it through the little hole and look, a bead. So you have, you're gonna have just a various grouping of beads. So you can do anything you want. You can do all the same color, you can do different patterns, different sizes, anything that you want to do. So I'm just going to put some beads on these four safety pins here. And so I'm just going to like go to town. I'm just going to pick up random colors, or if you want, you could do this too. You could just be randomly picking up stuff and be like, Ooh, look gold and green. And there's some blue. So you want to make sure if you can't see this, um, look how cool I get. <laughs> as they do on the internets, the interwebs. You wanna make sure you leave a little bit here so that your safety pin can properly hook into its little hole. Yeah? 
So, and this is the fun part. So be careful when you're doing this because if you push this in and then you accidentally let go, your beads will go all over the place. And then you won't be able to find them and you'll step on them and people will be sad. So just kind of get a nice grip on your safety pin and just kind of push it in, make sure you, your hands are nice and gripped. And then if you can't see this, uh, you just kind of, you know, do the safety pin thing. And there you go. If you notice like right here, if your beads are too like tight up against this, it might be that you, you're like, you have one bead that's a little, you have one bead that might need to be removed. Cause you don't want this to be too like insanely tight that they're not moving. Cause it could cause the safety pin to, you know, lose its integrity, which means it could like break or it could pop off at any, any known moment. So usually I like to find, to find the, like the thinnest, smallest bead here and take that one off to compensate, to make sure it's not too tight. You know, like this, maybe this little blue one I would take off or maybe the little pink one. But these actually, this right now is pretty good because it's moving, it's, you know, there's not much room left and it's moving around, which is super nice. Okay, so you're gonna do that. So what you do, you have 80 safety pins in your bag. You're gonna set aside 40 of them. So 40 of them you're gonna put beads on and the other 40 you're just gonna leave blank, okay? And so we're gonna put more beads. And you don't wanna do this super fast because you know, take your time, relax. Cause if you move too fast, um, again, beads everywhere. Ah, see, beads everywhere. Ooh, it looks like a, I'm sure call it. Ooh. Sometimes the holes aren't properly like drilled through for some reason. So, hmm, huh. well, we're not gonna use that one, poop. We'll use, there's an, oh, there's another red one in here. So we'll put that one on there. And you see you have just enough room, just enough room to close it up. Mm, bam, damn. See, nice, not too tight, moves around. It's all good. I'm not gonna take the time to put more on these two. It's not necessary. I've already kind of shown you how to do it. Make your own patterns, make your own colors, make rainbows. If you want, you can just make solid colors and then mix those solid colors up. Okay, so put my little beads because we're done with those over here. And now, this is my completed bracelet, okay? So you see I have put like, some of these are all solid colors, some of these are like different blues. I use some of those like silver spacers. Um, you know, some of them I made like a little sort of a red, green, yellow Rembo. Some of them I just used, you know, whatever you wanna do. And what you have to do is you are gonna to wanna to string these on. So like I said, for every one that you have beads on, you're gonna need a blank one, right? Because we're gonna use, we're gonna weave them together, so it makes a bracelet. I'm gonna turn it this way because it's actually I tried this a couple ways, and I was putting it on like sideways, and I found it very difficult to do. So if you turn it toward you, I'm gonna unclip this because I clipped it so that I wouldn't accidentally like drop it, and then these would all fall off, and then I'd be very very sad <laughs> and just cry myself to sleep. To sleep. So what you want to do is like put the two, the two strings, you know, like this parallel, like a train track toward you. You can start building up at the back if you want, um, but it's, kind, it's easier to do it this way because you can kind of like hold both of them and then put them on at the same time because it doesn't work if you just do one side and then the other, it's just, it just messes everything up. So what you want to do is you have to do like bead, bead safety pin, blank safety pin, bead safety pin, blank safety pin, just back and forth like that. But your, you have to make sure of a couple of things. This is, I currently have like a blank safety pin is the last one that I've put on. And if you've noticed, we've put it through the circle and we've put it through the hole in the top and it's this, this direction, you know, the top is over here. When you put on the next one, which is gonna have beads on it, it needs to go the opposite direction. So you're gonna need the top to be here so that your bead is, your bracelet is balanced out and it doesn't like look wonky, okay? And plus you need to make sure that the beads are facing out or at least facing the same direction. Because if you'll notice all these beads are facing out, 
So that means that's gonna be the outside of your bracelet. If you put this one like this, you're not gonna see your beads. You're just gonna see this, yeah? So you can, you can do it this way, but you just need to make sure that if you're doing it this way, all of the other ones should be the same. So mine are facing up, so I'm gonna turn it over. So basically, so you take the little string, the stretchy string, stick it through the hole in the top, and then stick it through the hole in the bottom, and kind of just wiggle it. Okay, so we put on a bead, so now we need one with non-beads, right? And it goes this way. Again, since there's no beads on it, it doesn't matter like which one is facing a direction, or this thingy. You just need to make sure it's flipped so that you get the doohickey thing on the other side, yeah? So we're gonna do that. Make sure it's in the hole. Sometimes it's hard to see. And this is gonna take a while. I, string all, I strung all of these today and it took me like an hour. That's only because I was doing a little bit of trial and error to make sure that um, I was providing you with the most efficient way possible. And of course, if there's another way you wanna do it, feel free. Okay, empty one. So now we need one with beads. It needs to be the opposite direction. Beads facing in the same direction as all the other beads. And then on it goes. Let me make sure to put it in the other one. Oof, excuse me. Mm. And then there we are. And then this end, I think is an empty safety pin. So we're basically, once you're finished, you kind of like put your ends together, tie them together, and there's your bracelet. So we probably wanna make sure that we have the same, if we don't have like one of these matching with the other one of these. So at this end, we have a blank safety pin or no beads in this one. And this one, we have beads. So that actually is perfect. We don't need to bother with this one because if we put this one here and we tied it together, it would be up against a blank one. And that might look weird or break the, Break the cycle, break the cycle, I don't know. But it probably wouldn't be a bad thing if it was there, but you know, might as well just kind of keep the, the um, pattern going. So this is gonna be the hard part, so hopefully I don't mess it up. <laughs> but it could happen, people, it could happen. So the, you have to be super careful with this. So the idea, of course, is to bring the bracelet pieces together and tie them together, and you want the the bead set portions to face outward, right? You don't wanna tie it together this way or else your beads will be on the inside. You could probably like flip it around, but we don't wanna worry about that. Anyway, so I'm just gonna sort of put this this way. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna flip it over so that my beads are on the inside. See how that looks? Oh, that looks kinda of cool that way. But you want this to be on the inside of your wrist. Yabba, yabba. It's okay, so we're gonna take the clip off. <gasps> Throw it over there. Okay, make sure, sometimes they get stuck or like they don't properly stay in the little hole on the top, so. Okay, sorry, my hand's in the way. So we are going to just, I'm gonna move these a little bit just so that we have the same, a little bit more string on this side. <sighs> oh, I'm so nervous. Ah, I'm afraid it's gonna hurt itself. So. You're like, well, how do I do that without like the other one coming apart either? I'm like, oh, should I just do one at a time? I don't know, let's try it. No, probably not the best idea. So we're not gonna do that. Hmm, Hmm. how should we do this? You might need someone to help you or you might need another hand. Um, so I'm gonna have my assistant. I don't know if she can reach her hands in. Can she reach her hands in? Okay, can we see her hands? I don't know. So I'm gonna have her grab the top string, just the top string, that's the top string, excellent, good job. And then the top string over here, which is that one. Ah, ha, ha. you're the best, Abria, look at it, it's like a little seesaw. Okay, so I am just gonna go ahead and tie this while she just kind of holds that so that I don't freak out. Maybe get your mom to help or your dad or your brother, no, I mean, not, not your brother. <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know, sometimes they can't be trusted. And this is stretchy, right? But you just, so, but you, so you don't need to like pull it super tight, but just tight enough where it kind of comes together, right? And then do another 
not. But yeah, a second pair of hands would all would be super good at this point. Because you've put all of this work into it and you're just like, I really don't want to fail. <laughs> you don't want this to like have to do it all over again. And it's stretchy, which is nice because um, this kind of string usually ties very well. Like the, it'll hold the tie super well. I'm gonna go in for a third tie just to make sure it's all good. I think I've got it. Okay, we're gonna go in for a third tie just to make sure it looks good. Yeah, 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 does it look okay? Okay, maybe we just need to tie this really, really tight. Yeah, maybe, cause sorry, I'm like, I'm making, I made a couple of knots, it looks pretty tight, like, cause you can't really see it, see, it's very small, see? So that might be enough, but we also might wanna do this. You know how you take it together, and then you wrap it around your finger, and you make another knot this way. Ooh, sorry, it's hard to see, but you know what I mean. So yes. And then we just kind of push the knot down as far as we can. Oh look, this doesn't look too bad. Eh, it could go down a little farther, but anyway, we're gonna leave this for now. We should be okay. Oh, <gasps> I forgot the scissors. Either way, you know, then you can just kind of cut it off right here. And then you've got the further knots up here, so you should be okay. I'm not gonna cut it off right now because I can't, I forgot scissors. Um, <laughs> so we'll just leave that for right now. And then now I'm gonna take these from Abril. Thank you so much. And we're gonna tie these two together in the same manner. Oh, and then um, as I finish this, don't forget um, to somewhere on the screen here, there should be um, our secret code word that you can put in when you complete this activity for our last week of our summer reading, summer virtual activity challenge. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. And now you have a bracelet. You can cut these off. I will as soon as I finish this video because I forgot. And then you're just like, and it's super stretchy. And you put it on, so I'm gonna put it on. And look, I've got this super amazing bracelet. Oh my gosh, look at it, it's fabulous. Or cuff, you can call it a cuff if you'd like. Um, so for me, I have a big wrist, so I see gaps, right? So if you end up with gaps, you might have needed more safety pins, but I think you guys probably have smaller wrists than I do. But if you end up with a gap, just find your middle, you know, cause that's where the underside of your wrist, and you can always push them out this way so that if you end up with a gap, no one's gonna see it because it's gonna be under your wrist. Like see, here's where everything is tied. You can always push it this way and then no gap, you know? Or you can push it up a little bit more because then you've got that little funky bone, you know, that pokes out sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, see now there's no gap and it's super cool. So maybe I should, maybe me as with a big wrist needed a little bit more but it's super stretchy, stretchy. Just be careful because I mean, these are not like high quality safety pins, you know? So you don't want to like be throwing this around because I mean, you never know. One of the safety pins could just randomly pop and then beads everywhere. But here we go. There's our bracelet. It's super pretty. I just went randomly crazy with the colors and the patterns and stuff. And yeah, now I have a cool, cool accessory to, um, you know, show off to my friends. And then it just kind of, it kind of moves around all by itself. But there we are, cuff bracelet, pick up the craft kit. Hope you enjoy. Bye.